Yo, what is up? It's your boy, Jerry here, bringing you guys a little video I decided to do about controller drift. I noticed I've been having a lot of issues with this, and I guarantee a lot of people out here have been having issues as well. So the thing is with controller drift, it kind of messes up your aim, and it's kind of annoying. Uh, just overall just annoying when your remote is just moving on its own when you don't want it to. It's messing up your aim and stuff like that. Now, I have my controller drift uh, set to uh, five zero point. 05 as a dead zone now dead zone is kind of a new thing they added in i don't know when they added it in it may have been at the start of season four i'm not a, a completely sure when they added it in but i know it wasn't here the whole time now the thing with dead zone you can actually control how much controller drift you actually get now i have a relatively new remote mine is only two months old so i don't get that much controller drift right now but later on in the future i'm probably going to be experiencing this a lot more and it's going to be pretty frustrating I play Warzone a lot, and when I'm aiming down sight far ranges and want to just pre-game, I don't want my controller moving to the left or moving to the right. I just want it stationary on the target where I have my aim at. Now, I can kind of show you guys the extreme of this. Now, I can put my dead zone all the way down to zero here. Uh, but the thing is, since I have a relatively new remote, my controller drift won't be that bad. Now, so, so I can line it up right here. So let's line it up here. And you actually see it moving off of the uh, phone loop there. It's moving very slowly, but it is moving. Now, for other people, this may be a lot worse because they probably have a lot more controller drift. For me, it's not that bad. But if I'm aiming down sight long range and it's moving and stuff like that, I mean, it will get pretty annoying for me, especially when I'm in war zone and stuff like that. Like I said, the quick fix for this is easy. Go into your options, go into your dead zone, and putting it up straight to point uh zero five and that'll be pretty much it pretty easy fix this way you don't have to go out and buy a whole new remote or you don't have to try to take off your analogs and potentially break your remote and have to buy a new one anyway so that's going to be pretty much it for this it's a pretty simple fix and i hope this helped you guys out a lot uh, i know when i first seen this it helped me out a lot uh, with my control of yours and stuff like that but uh make sure you like the video if it did help you out at all if you felt this is something that you'd like to see more, more tutorials, tips and tricks and stuff like that, just uh, let me know in the comments and I'll make sure I read, literally I read all my comments all the time. And make sure to hit that subscribe button so you know next time I upload a video so you don't miss out. And this is going to be it for this one guys, peace out. You guys want to know where I go live, it's twitch.tv slash yourkingjerry. Go ahead and hit that follow button for me and turn on your notifications so you get notified next time I go live.